First Kings, First Samuel in Hebrew, chapter eight through chapter ten, verse sixteen. And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. And these are the names of his sons: Joel the firstborn, and the name of the second Abiah, judges in Beersheba. And his sons did not walk in his way, and they turned aside after gain and took gifts and perverted judgments. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together and come to Armathaim, to Samuel, and they said to him, Behold. Thou art grown old, and thy sons walk not in thy way. And now set over us a king to judge us, as also the other nations have. And the thing was evil in the eyes of Samuel, when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hear the voice of the people, in whatever they shall say to thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me from reigning over them. According to all their doings which they have done to me, from the day that I brought them out of Egypt until this day, even as they have deserted me, and served other gods, so they do also to thee. And now hearken to their voice. Only thou shalt solemnly testify to them, and thou shalt describe to them the manner of the king who shall reign over them. And Samuel spoke every word of the Lord to the people who asked of him a king. And he said, This shall be the manner of the king that shall rule over you. He shall take your sons, and put them in chariots, and among his horsemen, and running before his chariots. And his manner shall be to make them to himself captains of hundreds and captains of thousands, and to reap his harvest, and gather his vintage, and prepare his instruments of war, and the implements of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be perfumers, and cooks, and bakers. And he will take your fields, and your vineyards, and your good olive yards, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tithe of your seeds, and your vineyards, and give it to his eunuchs, and to his servants. And he will take your servants, and your handmaids, and your good herds, and your asses, and will take the tenth of them for his works. And he will tithe your flocks, and ye shall be his servants. And ye shall cry out in that day, because of your king, whom ye have chosen to yourselves. And the Lord shall not hear you in those days, because ye have chosen to yourselves a king. But the people would not hearken to Samuel. And they said to him, Nay, but there shall be a king over us. And we also will be like all the other nations. And our king shall judge us, and shall go out before us, and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and spoke them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hearken to their voice, and appoint them a king. And Samuel said to the men of Israel, Let each man depart to his city. And there was a man of the son of Benjamin, and his name was Kis, the son of Abiel, the son of Jared, the son of Bachir, the son of Aphek, the son of a Benjamite, a man of might. And this man had a son, and his name was Saul, of great stature, a goodly man. And there was not among the sons of Israel a goodlier than he, high above all the people, from his shoulders and upward. And the asses of Kis, the father of Saul, were lost. And Kis said to Saul his son, Take with thee one of the young men, and arise ye, and go and seek the asses. And they went through Mount Ephraim, and they went through the land of Selka, and found them not. And they passed through the land of Segalim, and they were not there. And they passed through the land of Jamin, and found them not. And when they came to Sif, then Saul said to his young man that was with him, Come, and let us return, lest my father leave the asses and take care of us. And the young man said to him, Behold now, there is a man of God in this city, and the man is of a high repute. All that he shall speak will surely come to pass. Now then, let us go, that he may tell us our way on which we have set out. And Saul said to his young man that was with him, Lo, then will we go. But what shall we bring the man of God? For the loaves are spent out of our vessels, and we have nothing more with us that belongs to us to bring to them. And the young man answered Saul again, and said, Behold, there is found in my hand a fourth part of a shekel of silver, and thou shalt give it to the man of God, and he shall tell us our way. Now before time in Israel, every one in going to inquire of God said, Come, and let us go to the seer, for the people before time called the prophet the seer. And Saul said to his servant, Well said, Come, and let us go. And they went to the city where the man of God was. As they went up the ascent to the city, they find damsels come out to draw water, and they say to them, Is the seer here? And the virgins answer them, and they say to them, He is. Behold, he is before you. Now he is coming to the city because of the day, for today there is a sacrifice for the people in Bama. As soon as ye shall enter into the city, so shall ye find him in the city before he goes up to Bama to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes in, for he blesses the sacrifice. And afterwards the guests eat. Now then, go up, for ye shall find him because of the holiday.
And they go up into the city, and as they were entering into the midst of the city, behold, Samuel came out to meet him, to go up to Bama. And the Lord uncovered the ear of Samuel one day before Saul came to him, saying, At this time tomorrow I will send to thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be ruler over my people Israel, and he shall save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon the humiliation of my people, for their cry is come unto me. And Samuel looked upon Saul, and the Lord answered him, Behold, the man of whom I spoke to thee, this one shall rule over my people. And Saul drew near to Samuel into the midst of the city, and said, Tell me now which is the house of the seer. And Samuel answered Saul, and said, I am he. Go up before me to Bama, and eat with me today, and I will send thee away in the morning, and I will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And concerning thine asses that have been lost now these three days, care not for them, for they are found. And to whom does the excellency of Israel belong? Does it not to thee and to thy father's house? And Saul answered and said, Am not I the son of a Benjamite, the least tribe of all the people of Israel, and of the least family of the whole tribe of Benjamin? And why hast thou spoken to me according to this word? And Samuel took Saul and his servant, and brought them to the inn, and set them there a place among the chief of those that were called, about seventy men. And Samuel said to the cook, Give me the portion which I gave thee, which I told thee to set by thee. Now the cook had boiled the shoulder, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said to Saul, Behold, that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For it is set thee for a testimony in preference to the others. Take of it. And Saul ate with Samuel on that day. And he went down from Bama into the city, and they prepared a lodging for Saul on the roof, and he lay down. And it came to pass, when the morning dawned, that Samuel called Saul on the roof, saying, Rise up, and I will dismiss thee. And Saul arose, and he and Samuel went out. As they went down to a part of the city, Samuel said to Saul, Speak to the young man, and let him pass on before us, and do thou stand as today, and hearken to the word of God. And Samuel took a vial of oil, and poured it on his head, and kissed him, and said to him, Hast not the Lord anointed thee for a ruler over his people, over Israel? And thou shalt rule among the people of the Lord, and thou shalt save them out of the hand of their enemies. And this shall be the sign to thee that the Lord has anointed thee for a ruler over his inheritance. As soon as thou shalt have departed this day from me, thou shalt find two men by the burial place of Rachel on the Mount of Benjamin, exulting greatly. And they shall say to thee, The asses are found which ye went to seek. And behold, thy father has given up the matter of the asses, and he is anxious for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? And thou shalt depart thence, and shalt go beyond that as far as the oak of Thabor, and thou shalt find there three men going up to God to Bethel, one bearing three kids, another bearing three vessels of bread, and another bearing a bottle of wine. And they shall ask thee how thou doest, and shall give thee two presents of bread, and thou shalt receive them of their hand. And afterward thou shalt go to the hill of God, where is the encampment of the Philistines. There is Nasib the Philistine, and it shall come to pass, when ye shall have entered into the city, that thou shalt meet a band of prophets coming down from the Bama, and before them will be lutes, and a drum, and a pipe, and a harp, and they shall prophesy. And the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee, and shall prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. And it shall come to pass, when these signs shall come upon thee, then do thou whatsoever thy hand shall find, because God is with thee. And thou shalt go down in front of Golgal, and behold, I come down to thee to offer a whole burnt offering and peace offerings. Seven days shalt thou wait until I shall come to thee, and I will make known to thee what thou shalt do. And it came to pass, when he turned his back to depart from Samuel, God gave him another heart. And all these signs came to pass in that day. And he comes thence to the hill, and behold, a band of prophets opposite to him. And the Spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied in the midst of them. And all that had known him before came, and saw, and behold, he was in the midst of the prophets. And the people said every one to his neighbor, What is this that has happened to the son of Kis? Is Saul also among the prophets? And one of them answered and said, And who is his father? And therefore it became a proverb, Is Saul also among the prophets? And he sees prophesying, and comes to the hill. And his kinsmen said to him and to his servant, Whither went ye? And they said, To seek the asses. And we saw that they were lost, and we went into Samuel. And his kinsmen said to Saul, 
Tell me, I pray thee, what did Samuel say to thee? And Saul said to his kinsmen, He verily told me that the asses were found, but the matter of the kingdom he told him not. Psalm 80, 81 in Hebrew. For the end, a psalm for Asaph, concerning the wine presses. Rejoice ye in God our helper. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and produce the timbrel, the pleasant psaltery with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, in the glorious day of your feast. For this is an ordinance for Israel, and a statute of the God of Jacob. He made it to be a testimony in Joseph, when he came forth out of the land of Egypt. He heard a language which he understood not. He removed his back from burdens, his hands slaved in making the baskets. Thou didst call upon me in trouble, and I delivered thee. I heard thee in the secret place of the storm. I proved thee at the water of strife. Pause. Hear, my people, and I will speak to thee, O Israel, and I will testify to thee. If thou wilt hearken to me, there shall be no new God in thee, neither shalt thou worship a strange God. For I am the Lord thy God, that brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people hearkened not to my voice, and Israel gave no heed to me. So I let them go after the ways of their own hearts. They will go on in their own ways. If my people had hearkened to me, if Israel had walked in my ways, I should have put down their enemies very quickly, and should have laid my hand upon those that afflicted them. The Lord's enemies should have lied to him, but their time shall be forever. And he fed them with the fat of wheat, and satisfied them with honey out of the rock. Proverbs chapter 17, verses 6 through 9. Children's children are the crown of old men, and their fathers are the glory of children. The faithful has the whole world full of wealth, but the faithless not even a farthing. Faithful lips will not suit a fool, nor in lying lips a just man. Instruction is to them that use it a gracious reward, and whithersoever it may turn, it shall prosper. He that conceals injuries seeks love, but he that hates to hide them separates friends and kindred. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 1 through 17. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves, nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed, and went through the towns, preaching the gospel, and healing everywhere. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because that it was said of some that John was risen from the dead, and of some that Elias had appeared, and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, John have I beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all they had done, and he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve, and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge, and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them, and brake, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of fragments that remained to them twelve baskets.